Welcome back, YouTubers. Today uh, we're going to learn how to mod XCOM. So, uh, once you download XCOM from the XCOM site, which is going to be uh, www.openxcom.org, uh, which is from this site here, and that's a news page, but you go to the downloads page and milestone builds you can click on this one and you want to choose the windows installer of your choice 64-bit or 32-bit uh, the other thing you want to make sure you have is you want to have uh, XCOM UFO Defense downloaded from Steam so that way that uh, Open XCOM can pull the original files from this game and put it into your Open XCOM game. The next thing you want to do is you want to go to openxcom.com, which is the Open XCOM mod site. Uh, link in the description, and you want to download uh, whatever mod you feel like downloading. In this case, we're going to go ahead and download a new mod which could be the Muton Commander, and I'll show you how to do that. So you click the button to view mod, and here is the mod right here. Uh, information about the mod and how to download the mod uh, instructions. Uh, it's a very, very simple process. You download the mod by clicking on it. Uh, there's no, you don't have to deal with AdFly, there's no, nothing like that, this is its own site, it's probably the cleanest download site you'll ever want to have, uh, it's fabulous, you don't have to deal with uh, forum posts, AdFly, uh, random buttons that you're not supposed to press, this is the official OpenXCOM mod site, and it is a good one. So anyways, um, if it doesn't download automatically, you click here and it downloads on the bottom. It's a very small file, and you'll have two different folders that you will have uh, available to you. The first folder will be a rule set and a resource folder. The next thing you want to do is you want to um, go to your where you have all the files of your Open XCOM. So easiest way to do that is find the shortcut that the installer put onto your thing, onto your computer. Right click that, hit the properties button, hit the general button. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Maybe I go back here. Uh, properties. Aha! Uh, shortcut. Open file location. So now you have the file that your um, game is sitting in, and all you have to do is take what's over here from the downloads, drag both of those folders into your data folder, click do this for current items, click yes, click uh, continue and it will download the files. In this case it's kind of a, a large one because we have uh, multiple sprites for the Muton Commander. As you can see, here, I hope that's going to work with GIF images. Well, we'll see if that works. <laughs> and pretty much that's it. The other thing that is in there is a rule set. So in the rule set, you should see Alien, or I'm sorry, Muton Commander, which should be under M. Down, up, up. Aha, Muton Commander. So here's the rule set for the commander, which has all the properties of the commander. You can actually, if you know what uh, you're doing, you can actually change it. So if you wanted, um, to have maybe think that the Muton Commander's bravery is too small, you can just change that number to a higher number, and then the Muton Commander will have a higher bravery. And uh, don't mess with it too much, though, because you might break it. Otherwise, just download it again, it's not a problem. You hit the back button, and to uh, activate the mod, you open up the game. You go to the options, mods. 
and that this will be the list of mods that you have in your game currently and here you go muton commander is no currently so you just change it to yes by clicking on it click ok crush fingers and the mods in there so whenever you go into the game uh, for instance a new battle if you're going to do a battleship or let's see well we're not probably not going to find the commander right away but if you go like base defense and then you put um, muton click ok um, well you may actually get uh, the muton commander in here so muton commander would probably be somewhere in here so I don't know if I'm going to be able to find them within that much time, but um, well, I'll try to find them, I'll be right back. And there he is right there, the Muton Commander will be uh, now a different color, as you can see. So let's see if we can't uh, kill him and see his corpse. Damn it. <laughs> I'm probably just going to lose a lot of guys because this is just a random battle. Oh, this guy has a uh, new, uh, new uh, gun. It's, uh, it's a uh, minigun, so... <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> That was pretty cool. <laughs> oh man, that guy's totally dead. Alright, I think I have a pretty good shot at him with the miniguns. We're gonna try. Uh, that did not work. And right, we found him. He's not there on the ground. Oh, here we go. And there we go, Mutant Commander. He is red. He is red like in the, um, what do you call it, the, um, like in the, uh, in the intro. So, there you go, it works, that's the Muton Commander, it was really, really simple to do, and, and that's pretty much it. Until next time, this is Jsync, signing out. Signing out. <laughs> oh god, we're gonna die. See you later.